Hello and welcome to NDTV. I'm Rohit Kilnani. Joining me is actor Sonu Sood. First, I will show you some videos. Take a look at these videos. These are videos of migrant workers boarding buses from Maharashtra. These are buses arranged by actor Sonu Sood. We are very happy. We are going to send Sonu Sood to the uh, Sonu, right now we are playing visuals on the screen of workers leaving from Mumbai by buses. These are buses arranged by you. Could you tell us, uh, firstly, how did this happen? Uh, what was the procedure? Uh, thank you so much, Rohit, uh, for having me. But uh, like everyone knows, especially your channel has been really uh, been living with the migrants who have been on the roads since so many days since the lockdown began. And... Uh, uh, you know how it feels when you see all these uh, poor families with kids, with uh, old parents, you know, just walking down endlessly, you know, to different states, which you can't imagine that, you know, they can uh, they can reach their places, you know, safe and sound. And, you know, that always used to give me those sleepless nights that, you know, we, we complain about our lockdowns, we are sitting at home with all the comforts in the world, and uh, we don't think about them. So, um, I was walking towards it where I could get all the uh, necessary permissions where uh, you can, I can uh, get the trains arranged for them or, or the buses or any means where they can just reach uh, their homes and uh, finally I could manage uh, to uh, send you know hundreds of people, almost 350 people just left on uh, 10 buses to uh, Gulbarga in Karnataka and this is the first lot of people who have uh, left for Karnataka and uh, they had tears in their eyes when I, uh, you know, went to see them off and uh, and this uh, Karnataka government has been very helpful in sending the permissions because, you know, it's a whole process, you know, which really tires you or sometimes kills you because, you know, all the permissions from Maharashtra government you have to take, you know, all those, uh, you know, NOCs from the doctors, those medicals and uh, from the wards and then from the other state to receive these migrants. So, yeah, the whole process was uh, tedious but finally we could manage to do it and now they are all uh, on their way back to their homes. Great job, Sonu. This is amazing what you're doing. Uh, who are these people? How did they get in touch with you? How did you get in touch with them? You know, I, I was uh, following up with a lot of people and, you know, with a lot of migrants. And, you know, they have, they've been sitting under the bridges at a lot of places. And I thought that, you know, why not, um, you know, uh, make some arrangements. And I got in touch with the local uh, police in, in Thana. You know, uh, the DCP was very, very helpful in uh, putting things together and I got all the lists of a lot of migrants who really wanted to go back to their homes and uh, we got all the medicals done and uh, the list is endless so it, you know, yeah, there are a lot of people yeah. who have been really trying to uh, reach uh, back to their homes and we've been stopping people who are on the highways that while walking down you know just wait for two three days and we could manage to stop many they're just waiting for their permissions and I'll make sure that uh, by today evening or maybe by tomorrow day after they uh, head back uh, to their respective homes. Wow. So, so, uh, so, was it tough to arrange buses? Uh, you know, was the was the permission? Is it is it a procedure that you said like you know it sometimes tires you out? Uh, Ten buses, three hundred and fifty migrants is a big number for an individual like you to take up. Uh, was it was it difficult uh, to get these things arranged put together? Uh, no, it's, it's a process, definitely. You know, you have to, uh, you know, get those permissions from here, then you have to send to the other state government where they will uh, accept that and they will say that, you know, so and so bus with uh, this, the, uh, this particular driver with their numbers, and you have to, uh, you know, put all those things together. When are they leaving? What time are they going to reach? So all these things have to be in place, and by the time you get the permission, that bus is gone to some other state, and you again have to get the permissions done for that particular bus. So everything has to be on paper for them to reach uh, safely because we don't want any kind of uh, uh, you know hindrance on the borders or some right. state there that they have stopped which happened with a lot of people. Right. So no, all these hard work that you put in and all the permissions and the you know sometimes these things the, the procedure gets to you but lastly when you see them smile and in tears like you said when they are sitting in the bus waving at you what was that feeling like? You know, I, I could imagine myself, uh, you know, sitting in that bus, you know, who wants to reunite with the parents, with uh, with their families, who've been endlessly, must be calling them, that are you okay, you're sleeping on the roads, you don't have food to eat, and with, uh, you know, uh, listening to so many stories that people, you know, uh, you know, they have some accidents on the roads, or sometimes they're not able to reach uh, to their uh, places, so I, I thought that, you know, if we all come together and put our efforts, you know, we have to make sure that these people reach uh, their respective homes and the kind of smiles, the kind of, they were, uh, you know, waving till I could uh, 
uh, see them, you know, when the bus left. So I think that was the most special feeling, and that um, motivates me to make uh, this happen uh, almost every day. Absolutely, and you know, apart from that, you're making sure on the highways there are people who, even if they are walking, they get some food and fruits. You are arranging that on a regular basis. So this industry, your film industry, has been. right in front helping in different ways contributing to different funds you know uh, sending sanitizers itni alag alag cheeze sab kar rahe hain you know what do you want to tell people who are watching this who are wondering what can they do yeah um, right you know there's a this place in thana which is called the kalwa square jahan pe bahut sare migrants you know wahi se pedal nasik ki taraf jaate hain aur you know do highways mm-hmm. lagte hain wahan pe so when we saw these people walking and you know they didn't have anything so how we got a every day get a truck of uh, food you know and um, a lot of uh, food for them in in the packets bag so we have a counter where all the migrants who leave we give them so that they can um, use it water refreshments <coughs> so when they go there then you know they have the, all the smile when they get all the fruits to eat and we we still try to insist them uh, to them that you know please if you could stay for a day or two i'll get those buses arranged for you i'll get those things but they 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 are so desperate to reach back to the homes that they they have lost faith in the system and they said you know we just want to go home and we pack some extra food for them so that they they don't feel hungry so i think that's uh, something which uh, motivates you to do this small thing uh, this is something very small like i i have done and i feel that you know all of us need to come together to make this happen yeah. right and you know um, you know so is this an ongoing thing you know there are there if there are more people who come to you that they want to go are you going to continue to do do sure. different different things in your capacity no of course yes and there are a lot of my friends who are coming forward you know i have a friend and uh, you know said you know what can i do how can i be associated you know mm-hmm. so i think this is a kind of a chain reaction which we all need to hold uh, hands and come together and help uh, each other you know this is not uh, a single person job so yeah i am uh, on my job you know as i'm talking to you i'm getting missed calls from different people uh, migrants who are, who are from goregaon they want to go to ranchi there are people who want mm-hmm. to go to orissa so we are just getting these things organized and every day morning four to five hours i start my day with uh, putting things together and evening also four five hours we have to put things together so i think this is a time when people say that we don't know what to do in the lockdown so i think this time is actually we have very less time to uh, if we really want to help others yeah. absolutely very rightly said sonu uh, sonu um, you know this is is pandemic mein humne kya sikhaya hai you know itna bada pandemic hua hai are there any learnings kya hame kya kya seekhna chahiye aapke hisab se मुझे लगता है रोहित हम लोग अपनी शूटिंग्स के लिए दौड़ते थे गाड़ी में ब्रेकफास्ट करते थे कॉफी का मग लेके यू नो सीडियो पर जाते थे सो समय हमारे पास नहीं था नाउ वी हैव ऑल द टाइम इन द वर्ल्ड एंड स्टिल द वर्ल्ड यू नो हैज नथिंग एज चेंज इफ यू से अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन गो आउट सो द बिगेस्ट लेसन दैट आई लर्न एंड विच आई एम शो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ लर्न इज दैट यू नीड टू Uh, do some kind of a soul searching where you need to know what are the priorities you have in your life family is a priority where you need to spend maximum time and uh, apart from that the most important thing that i've learned and i've realized that is that someone needs you somewhere you know if you have your kitchen there has to be an extra food made for someone maybe a watchman or a migrant or anyone who needs you if if the whole what i would say is um, working towards is uh, you won't be any uh, there won't be any hungry stomach on the road so yeah uh, the biggest lesson i i feel that everyone has learned is that uh, the only way you can survive uh, on this planet is by staying together and by helping others great and you know you are absolutely right when you say it's so easy to help that just go and make sure your watchman and your people around you have the food uh, so no you continue this great work and uh, more power to you when you're thank doing you. all this and uh, thank you so much for talking to ndtv thank you so much god bless you rohit